Tripod, why? Tripod, why you know Wi-Fi? That's not what a tripod does. Okay. Um, I am coming to you from my brand new couch. Brand new use couch. $50. It's pretty great. It's interesting how much life has been changing. I went through a really, really tough year. Just constant, constant sadness and drinking and wanting to not exist in this reality anymore. I graduated. I left somebody that I was crazy nuts about. Um, I moved away from all of my friends and family. I got a really fucking shitty job. I moved in with my best friend in the entire world, and now we're not friends anymore. You know? Like, so really just bad things were happening. And then I worked at a sandwich shop for six months. I always think that I'm the one that's capable of doing these things. I'm the one that's like, oh, I'm gonna get my heart broken, and I know it's gonna happen, and I do it anyways because I'm like, I'll be fine. If anyone's gonna be fine, it's gonna be me. You know, I have a lot of confidence in myself, um, but in that year, just bad thing after bad thing kept happening, and I just started to lose all faith in myself of being able to pull myself out of this mess. I just remember one night in December sobbing my eyes out and throwing up out of, I don't know, like, anxiety or something. It was just really bad. I was walking home and sobbing, and I called one of my friends, and I think I freaked him out, because he was like, I don't know how to help you. Tell me how to help you. And I was like, I don't know. One of my neighbors were walking outside and I didn't want them to see me talking to a camera so I literally ran away. If that doesn't tell you the kind of person I am, I don't know what does. There were a few weeks left after that terrible breakdown, a few weeks left of the year, and I went, okay, I'm going to take the rest of this year to reflect on all of the good things that happened this past year. I wrote a novel. I made a few new friends. I got to live closer to other friends that I'm crazy about. And I, I learned what I don't want. You know, that was like the big thing. I learned what I do not want. I learned the feelings that I don't like feeling, um, but also accepted the necessity of them, you know? I also learned that I'm the only one that's gonna help myself. Um, I'm the one who motivates me, and I'm the one that I have to live with 24-7. And I learned that that's not a bad thing, but I, I've learned that I am a good person, generally, and I love people easily and endlessly. And I wrote a journal entry about the whole past year that I had been through, and what I loved and hated about it, and the minute the clock struck 12 on New Year's, I decided that I was moving forward and that I was going to get better and that I was going to help myself even more and I was just going to do everything that I love to do and I was going to push forward. And in the first month of this year, I read five books, which is insane because I am not a fast reader, and I traveled to two different places. You know, and I met some new people, and I started some new projects, and I started to get better. And every month after, I've planned out what I want to do, where I want to be, where I'm going. I've started to get my goals in check, and I've started to become more fearless. You know, which is insane, because I was already a pretty courageous person, but now... I'm, I'm ready to do these crazy things. I just applied to go teach in Japan because I think it's time. There's nothing holding me here. It's time to see the rest of the world um, to the extent that I always wanted to. And obviously money is a huge issue to me, but like I'm working my butt off to make money, to live independently, and to move forward.
Anyways, it's been a good year so far and it's halfway over. And I just wanted to update you on what a great job I'm doing. And I'm giving myself a pat on the back or the shoulder because I... Here's what I'm gonna leave you with. One of my old bosses, his name was Jim. We were sitting together and we were looking at a magazine of some mountains with snow covered on it. And he said, I've always wanted to live in the mountains, maybe one day. And I looked at him and I was like, Jim, how old are you? And he was like, I'm 73. And I was like, Jim, you're 73. You can't be saying one day, one day has passed. Jim, you need to be there now or have been there yesterday. But make the thing that you always wanted to make and bring it into the world and go to that place you've always wanted to go and sit in those cafes and read the books that you always plan to read. Don't let them collect dust on your shelf. Go. And that is what I'm leaving you with. Uh, this has been Malon, your host. And I will see you on the flip side.